Well, as far as the scheduling goes, you've got to hit schedule. And then you're going to hit see occupied splashing. So that means your time that you're open. Then you hit edit. And then you'll pick your days you want to. So you go see the check marks on them. Two. Are you open on the weekends? Yep. Saturday, Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So there, they're all picked. Now you can edit your days, right? So you're going to edit all those days. You want It's going to come on at 8 in the morning. And your heat's going to be set to 18 and a half and you're cooling to 22. There's a dead band in there that they can't set 20 and 22 and 22. So right now you'd set to cool it. What I have it at 22 and you have your heat at 18 right now. So after you get that set, so all your days are going to come on at 8 and cool to that temperature. Then you go done and it'll save your changes. And then you're going to go in and uh, do your unoccupied. So this is when the store is shut. I got it set for 10 p.m. So that way everybody should be out of here by 10, mm -hmm. unless you want it earlier than that. Then you can just set your time and you go edit. And then same thing, you're gonna pick your days. And 10 p.m., is that too late at night or? It's probably, yeah. It's probably so you, like you gotta, you, there's 15 minute increments, so. We can go down to eight. So at eight o'clock, that's gonna go into the higher cool mode. Like you, and then you hit done. Saving changes, then your program is set. All right, let's say you come in, you want to override it. You can override it for a couple hours, right? You can hold temperature till 10 and change it. But that's if, depends if you put that lock box on it or if I program it so you can't. And then let, if you want to get out of that override, you just hit schedule and it'll go back to follow the schedule.